how our camera actually works. So in the first lesson, I spoke about how our exposure is based on three principles, which is light, time and sensitivity. Light, time and sensitivity. So how does that work in our camera? Well, if you're anything of a historian or an artist, you've probably come across what's called a camera obscura. Camera obscura has been around for centuries, for a very, very, very long time, uh, long before we were able to record photographs, the camera obscura existed, and was actually also used uh, back in Renaissance times as well. Um, certainly Dutch painters also used them as well to help when painting their subjects. But the basic idea of a camera obscura is that we have a black box and there's a very small opening in the box and what happens when light passes through this it actually projects whatever is on the outside to the inside but it's upside down and it's reversed this is also actually how we see our eyes actually operate in a very very similar way we we receive images upside down but our brains flip everything up the right side okay so there's a little bit of a fact for you but basically this is how physics of light works when it's passed through this small hole it's actually projected on the other side upside down and back to front now camera obscuras were used throughout history as i mentioned for painting but they were also used for by uh, architects and by mathematicians as well so they would point the camera obscura similar to this one here at something in this case a leaning tower pisa and it would project the image onto a piece of glass and they were able to then draw that image based on that reflection so it was used to document um you know things like historical um images like this like paintings like um anything mathematical as well um through this basically manual recording onto paper or with paint now that is how our cameras basically work. The big advance was that we were able to record images onto light sensitive material. And this is where photography was born.